What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here, back with a new Cheat Engine tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to have infinite XP and infinite gold in Dragon's Dogma. And there's a few ways that you can do each of these things, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. First, make sure you have Cheat Engine installed. Go to CheatEngine.org to download that if you don't have it. Then what you want to do is have the game open, and then once you open Cheat Engine, click this button. Look for DDDA.exe. That's the game. So you double click that. Now we're attached to the game. Um, and the first thing that we're going to look for is our XP. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do, I'm going to run over here and kill something so I gain some XP because I just started a new thing here to show you. Okay, so see how I gain 94 XP. What you want to do is hit escape so you go to your pause menu, click status, and then here you have these two numbers, 94. 16300, you'll probably have two different numbers here, but keep them both in mind here. Alright, and so what we're going to do is we tab out, and you want to, from this drop down box, select grouped. Alright, then you'll click this, it says generate group scan command. And then once this window comes up, from this drop down box, you click four bytes, and then you put your first number that you had. So I had 94, so I'll put 94 in here. Then from this drop-down box, you click 4, and then you choose, or I'm sorry, you type in your second number. So for me, 16300, you say OK. And now you do a first scan. All right, if you, you might come up with a whole bunch of values, but um, depending on where you are in your game, you should have only come up with a couple. And so now I'm going to escape out of this menu here. All right. Now, see how these numbers changed? That's not going to be the one. It's this one here. So I'm going to double click. So basically what this represents, this is the amount of experience needed to level up. And this is your current amount of experience. So if we go to status, you know, we can see that's we searched for those two numbers basically. The amount of experience you currently have and then what you need. So what you could do is just change this number in here to whatever you wanted. Let's change it to 50,000 and see what happens. Alright, so we leveled up to 21. Level up to 22. I'll probably level up again. Or not. Alright, so now I can go to status and see that I need... Okay, so current experience now and then that's what's needed to level up. So we leveled up two levels by doing that. If you want to take it to the, no pun intended, next level, what you can do is, I mean, you could just max it out if you wanted to put like 9 billion in there or whatever, but if you want to do something like uh, gain a level every time you kill an enemy, all right, what you want to do is right click on this, which is your current XP, all right, you right click on that, and then you click find out what rights to this address. And then it says, you know, attach the debugger. You say yes. Come in here, kill an enemy. Let me find an enemy here to kill. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Alright, here we go. Once you kill an enemy, what this is doing is it's finding the instruction that writes to that health address, or health address, I'm sorry, experience address. So there, I gained some experience, and this popped up. So now you can say show disassembler, and where it brings you right here, you can just go tools and say auto assemble template AOB injection. You can just click OK through these things. All right, and now once you're here, just follow my lead here. Push, oops, I don't want caps. Push EBX. Don't worry about what any of this stuff means. Just follow my lead. <laughs> and then type MOV, <coughs> copy this, all right, so now you type EBX here, comma, paste what you copied, and change this number here to like add 4 basically, so 2C4 to 2C8, all right, and then between where it says add, uh, add and jump, between those, you want to put this. Okay, and then lastly, this ECX, you want to change that to EBX. 
And so just to explain really quickly what this is doing, I'm going to stop and close this. This is taking your max uh, amount of points needed to level up, which is this number right here, and it's putting it in this place. Just think of it as a storage container. All right, and then this storage container is going to be moved into here. Oops, let's change this add to MOV as well. All right, so what this is is the address that your current experience is sitting in. So basically, every time we kill an enemy, it's going to take the amount that we need to level up and it's going to put it in our current XP. So you would go File, Assign to Current Cheat Table. Now you can close that and you see it here. All right, so now I'm going to click in this box here, which enables it. Now every time I kill an enemy, I should level up. There we go, we leveled up. Now we're going to kill this enemy. Leveled up again. Do it one more time here. This guy. And we're leveling up every time we kill something. Every time we get experience, we're leveling up. So there you go. That's a custom cheat. You could call it level up cheat. Level up cheat. And by the way, if you're completely lost by this stuff, go check out my cheat engine tutorial videos. I take you from being a beginner all the way through being able to do this stuff in your sleep, basically. <laughs> so, all right, that's the level up uh, or the XP. So the first thing that we did, you could just find that value. Um, well, actually, let's go ahead and do this. So uh, one other way I just wanted to show you really quickly, if you if that group scan thing that we did at first doesn't bring anything up for you, then what you could do is just make sure four bytes is selected from here, okay? And you know, pretend you're just starting to look for this value. Let's say we're at zero. So we'll do a first scan for whatever number you have right here as your current experience. Do a first scan for that number. All right, And then you want to gain experience. So once we kill this dude, 107. Okay, So if I go to status and I look here, I see 107. Now I can type in 107 and say next scan, or I'm sorry, uh, exact value. We'll just keep it at exact value and then say next scan. So this is looking at everything that was zero that is now 107. Okay, so we've whittled it down to a good bit of stuff here. Um, so what we can do is go ahead and kill one more enemy. So you see how there's stuff in red? That means those values are changing. And since we know our experience is still exactly the same as 107, we can say unchanged value and do a next scan. So we know that our experience is an unchanged value. So we'll click back on exact value, go back in here. All right, see how stuff changed there? We could say unchanged value again. What do, we are whittling our results down to what we want. All right. More change there, unchanged value. Okay, now there's some goblins in here that we can go kill. Okay, so now we go status, and 214 is the current exact value. And we're left with just this one. So as we can see, 0D6E, okay, 0D6E, 81A4, 81A4. We found the same memory address that we found our way to at first. This is our current experience. So then you could double click that to bring it down and then you could change this to whatever you wanted it to. And that's why you're playing it. All right. So that's all the ways that you can find uh, your experience. Okay. The last thing that we have is gold, which is pretty much what I had the video uh, the thumbnail about and all that stuff. So gold is really easy to find. You can either um, buy and sell things and look for increased and decreased values, or if you're starting off, like how I am right here, what you can do is hit I, look how much gold you have. I've got four, five, or four, two, four, fifty. So we'll do a new scan for four bytes, and we say four, two, four, five, zero. First scan. All right. 
I only get three numbers here. One of these three numbers is going to be gold for me, and it will be for you too. So then what I'm going to do is, I know there's some gold down here that I'm going to pick up, this gold bag. All right, so that was plus a thousand gold. Now look over here. See how this one's red? It changed. This is its current value. That's what it, its value was. So if we double click that to bring it down, now we can just double click on that number, change that to whatever we want, come in the game, hit I, and there you can see we have all that gold. So that's how you could instantly set yourself up with infinite gold. And just like we did with health, if you wanted to even, you could come in here and right click and say find what writes to this address. And you know, whenever you gain a, a thousand gold or something like that, you could find the instruction that adds your gold. And you could make it do something like give you a million more gold than what you're supposed to have every time you get gold. You know, you could create cheats like that. So. Anyway, that's just a quick little run through. Uh, one last thing I want to cover, if you tried to do some stuff and it complained about not being able to attach debugger or whatever, then you just want to go into edit, settings, debugger options. Oh, nope, not that one. Uh, we want to go to, where's it at here? Uh, why is this? Oh. Well, it's probably because I'm attached. It was debugger options. You want to go here. You want to make sure that use VEH debugger is selected here as your debugger method. Okay. Um, and then everything should work. Whatever we did where we actually attached it to find the instruction and things like that. So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to ask below. Give me a thumbs up if you found the video helpful. And... Uh, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other Cheat Engine videos if you're interested. All right. Thanks so much. Talk to you in the next video. Take care.